guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who are new here welcome and for those who are joining me once more today we're going to go ahead and explore the chiba city museum of science this museum is located on the 7th to 10th floor of the kibal building in chiba city Jap. please continue to watch if you want to explore this museum with me thank you all the gift shops, the planetarium and a few displays. These shapes were all the same sizes. I still can't figure out the signs behind it but if anyone wants to comment down below <laughs> the explanation for this, uh, please go ahead and do so because I still can't figure out what is going on with the shapes. <laughs> understood this one it had to do with angling rather than expansion because it's not actually expanding but just rotating So the entire seventh floor had to do with illusions with regards to shapes and textures and also light. to the eighth floor which was a wonder town that examined the wonders of sight sound light and quantity enjoyed all the rooms with glasses because man I was enjoying myself I made my own music video go 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 think <laughs>
So the ninth floor is what is called the techno town and this shows a lot of everyday technology. It had simple versions or miniature versions of like the train train lines, the monorail, stop signs, the internal workings of cars, small robots as well as everyday technology such as television, phones, refrigerators, washing machines, they had old versions as well as new versions. What I think was really cool was how they broke down the internal structures or features of a car, how the steering wheel connects to the wheels and how the engine works. Each of those were on display by themselves, how the steering wheel works with the wheels and how the engine works and how everything inside the car works in the lights. So the 10th floor had the Geotown, which just explored flora and fauna. just some mummified insects that we were looking on uh, through a microscope the wings were so beautiful 
and so different from what we were seeing with our actual eyes. <laughs> So due to Corona, all the workshops from the 7th to the 10th floor were closed and all the simulations were also closed. So we only got to see displays but we weren't able to do anything else but overall it was a fun day and if you are interested in getting your child in, uh, interested in sciences and they are living in Japan, it's a good place to bring them to. get to see the planetarium however we weren't allowed to use any phones inside but it was really cool and it was just explaining astrology and it was all in Japanese but I was able to understand a few things and it was really really cool so after about four to five hours at this museum we took the monorail back to the train station to get something to eat and that is where we actually parked so we had to go back there after a long day we headed home Thank you once more for coming on my journey with me if you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and do so and don't forget to comment and like until next time goodbye